right, y'all. So Keith and I are getting loaded up here, as you can see. Oh, we've done some mess here. We got some stands. Some stuff we're gonna need to hang some feeders. I'll show you in back of my truck. We're taking two trucks because we got too much junk to take one. Two nice new feeders right here. And then we got a couple more on the property, a couple barrels that we might fix up later. But right now we're gonna put these two up this weekend. Got some uh, corn, we're gonna do a mix of whole corn, cracked corn. We got two types of big tine in here. We're gonna mix in there with the corn so they get some extra protein and whatnot. All right, and we're gonna hit the road. We got that long four hour drive. And uh, we'll see you guys when we get up there. So Keith and I are back in here in a little spot we're gonna put a feeder on what we got is a this is a little oak head. Nice little oak head on the edge of a clear cut. Um, we found this a while back. We walked up in here. There's a little creek that runs right back over here. <clears throat> and we put a mineral lick over there. There's some a couple rubs over there. Real nice little spot. And then there's a game trail that runs right through here that I followed from that mineral lake. It comes out and it actually circles around and goes out into the clear cut right there. And there's rubs running right down this edge. So we decided right up off the edge of this trail, maybe, I don't know, 40 yards off the edge of that clear cut there, we're going to put a feeder. So it's a little challenging for us to do feeders. We tried a couple last year and the bears tore, tore them up. The bears make things really, really hard on us. So what we're gonna have to do in here is between two trees here, we're gonna run a cable across and hang the feeder right in the middle there so that the bears can't get to it. <clears throat> so you can see right here, we're clearing all this brush out so the deer have a little spot to eat. And then right there, on that tree that's kind of got some brush around it that's where we're going to put a stand we got a ladder stand we brought in right there and uh that'll give us a nice short maybe 15 20 yard shot should be pretty nice so we'll get back to work here and get some of this stuff cleared out so we've got a good bit more to go that one's well, got a little bit more here and then we got this corner right here to clear out that'll give us a nice big area open area and an easy shot climber as you can see I'm gonna use that climber get myself up maybe 20 feet and that's where I'm gonna attach that cable running across and you see what we're doing here I got the crimpers <clears throat> crimping these up this will go around the tree and we'll have a turnbuckle on each side that way when uh, once we get the cables across, we'll pull them snug as best we can. And then when we get the weight of the feeder on there, it's going to try to sag it so we can tighten it up with the, with the uh, turnbuckles. So, you see we're getting a little, a little progress here. We got the cables up there, the cables strung across, pulleys in the middle. And then we got a cable coming down. This is where we're going to mount the winch. Keith's mounting that board. We'll probably stack a couple boards there to mount it to. And then we'll get this uh, get this feeder hung up here. And then we'll clean up a little bit more of this. And we got a stand to put up. And it's hot out here. 
thing together a little bit of installation with these these are really nice nice feeders 12 volt motor 12 volt batteries so they're painted galvanized steel comes with this uh, varmint guard keep the critters out of it which I doubt there's gonna be a problem up here but <clears throat> just coming together all right y'all so we got that feeder up. Turned out pretty nice, actually. Cable system across the trees. I'm going to get up there with my climber and tighten those turnbuckles. Take a little bit of that sag out. And uh, there's the mount to the tree with a winch. Done deal. Now we're going to head right over there and put us up a tree stand. Okay. Well, we got this spot done. <clears throat> a lot of work. Took most of the day, but <laughs> should be a good one. Uh, like I said, I showed you before, we got the feeder there, full tree stand right there. Maybe 20 yards, up, probably yeah, about 20 yards. Nice bow shot. Camera right there. Next time we come back, we'll see what's hitting this thing. All right, so I think we're we're done. We got one more feeder to do, and we'll maybe hold off for that one till tomorrow. We got a couple other things we want to do. We're gonna go hit the box stands and make some curtains, camo curtains for the for the windows. So we'll head over there and we'll get on that right now. All right, so we're gonna doing up some uh, blinds on these on these box blinds so on the windows here. You can see. Pretty simple. All we did was run some pair, uh, paracord all the way around. I went and bought some blind material, leafy blind material, and uh, run it through the holes in the blind, cut it so it's like different sections here. And then basically what we're going to do is we have top and bottom sections so the wind doesn't blow it. So I have a, a line on the bottom, a line on the top. And then uh, basically all you got to do then is just slide it around where you want it. So you can make some like this. You can make a little hole there, make a little hole there, whatever you want to do. Close it off. Work out nicely. Pretty slick. All right, so here's the finished product. You get in the blind, you close this up. This is Velcro, the little doorway is Velcro. And then uh, what you do is you grab this piece here. Bring it over, hook it on there. You bring this one over and hook it on there. And then you can slide this blind material over where you want it. And cover up your, your doorway there. Or if you want to, so we split it so that you can, you know, make a little hole however big you want. Whatever you want to do. Or you can close it up completely it'll work out nice and then when you're done you want you're done with it just unhook the bottom one unhook the top one hang it right there same with these blinds you can see they're tucked into the corners and when you want to you want to block it up bring over whatever you want that's it they're shot pretty good One down, we got five more to go. So this is interesting, guys. <laughs> Driving out of our food plot, and we got this guy in the road. <laughs> Where he came from, I have no earthly idea. Because there's a long, it's a long way from any kind of water.
you locate them to some water, but um, well, we'll just leave them be. You don't want out of here. All right, y'all. So <clears throat> putting up another feeder. We found a little spot we're going to use. It's a big cypress head back in here. And um, there's a little dry area on the edge of it. So we're going to use that real nice open area. So we basically made us a trail right through these thick woods. It's not very far, maybe 30 yard trail. That'll go right to the tree where we're going to put the stand. Which is going to be right there on that big pine tree. And then right over here, clean it up a little bit. So you can see, <clears throat> this is where we'll put the the, uh, the feeder. We're gonna put it right here between these two big trees, hang it like we did the other one. And then we'll have a nice view of this whole swamp. Pretty cool. And we've got a food plot and a box stand about 300 yards that way. And we've got some really big tracks in that food plot. So I think there's a bunch of rubs, old rubs from last year on that edge. So I'm sure we got a decent buck in here. I got a camera I pulled the cart on. I'll take a look at that later. But anyway, so this will give us just a little bit more versatility. We got the food plot there. We got a feeder here. Same mix as that other one. So they have some high protein for now. Help them grow some big horns. So we're going to get busy on this one. Get us another one done. Alright, well, we got feeder number two rigged up. There's the uh, winch. Got cables across from tree to tree just like the last one. Feeder filled up. Nice mix of corn and all kinds of stuff. Got roasted soybeans. Sunflowers, millet in there, cracked corn. And like I said, this is a big time fortified high in protein. So, we get this joker pulled up. Still got to put the, uh, you see, we got the, uh, it's got a solar panel on it. 12 volt system, 12 volt battery. We'll stick that in there. So, we shouldn't have to mess with it for a while. And then we'll get this uh, other ladder stand in. Get her going. Down down. That joker will flat swing some corn. Okay. Let's get this joker winched up and we're gonna head over there and hang a, another stand. That baby's up there. One bear proof feeder. Ain't no way he's reaching that. Get on the stand. All right, y'all. This spot is a wrap. Keith up there uh, just got it cleaned up. Bird's eye view for a nice shot on that feeder. Grab a camera, throw one up on this tree, and we'll be out of here.
Well, we're back out back here at the camp. We're uh, working on some lights. We got all the feeders are done. Um, blinds are in, and the uh, in the box blinds. So we're gonna put uh, a couple of lights, just a couple of odds and ends things right now. We're gonna put store some stuff in this uh, in this old building on the property here. So we bought a couple of lights because there's no lights in here, and it's real dark. <laughs> So we bought us a couple lights. I'm gonna mount up to the ceiling, little battery operated LEDs, and then uh, put some stuff in there and get on out of here. So we got a long ride back. Um, we'll be back up again. Might come up next month, maybe shoot some pigs. As y'all saw, we got a bunch of hogs on the property we gotta get rid of. So uh, maybe we'll come back up and make a video shoot, shooting some of those hogs. And uh, then we'll be back again in August, late August, to do some fall food plots. So. Either way, we'll see you guys on the next one. Hope y'all subscribe and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Showed y'all how to make a nice uh, bear-proof feeders. <laughs> but uh, all right, guys, we'll see you on the next one.